Some animals are cute, cuddly, and just full of love. But others? Others are super, super mean. With no interest in snuggling up with humans and being nice to them. These are the meanest animals in the world. Number 15. Hippos Despite what all the cartoons told you, hippos are mean. And I mean, really mean. While they seem to just be fun-loving animals who really like to bathe, they have a well-earned reputation as one of the most temperamental and dangerous animals in the entirety of the animal kingdom. On average, hippos can weigh anywhere between 3,000 and 9,920 pounds, making them the third largest living land mammals in the world. But actually, their weight isn't the most dangerous thing about these animals. That honor belongs to those tusks and teeth, which are always used to fend off against potential predators. Or just annoyances. In fact, it's not unheard of for baby hippos to be killed during a fight between two adult hippos. And honestly, if a baby hippo can be killed in this manner, just imagine the damage that they can do to us. So in summary, stay the hell away from hippos. These herbivores are not your friends. Yes, I'm talking directly to you vegans. Don't let the non-meat eaters fool you, because they will kill you, and you don't want to become the subject of a Netflix documentary about how all hippos hate vegans. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. Leopards are among some of the meanest animals out there, as this photographic evidence proves. In this photo, you can see a leopard pouncing on its prey, a cluster of innocent capybaras. These little guys were just milling around, minding their own business, when the leopard decided to mess with them. But hey, that's just what leopards are like. Truly one of the meanest animals out there. But hey, of course they're mean. When regular-sized cats can be as cruel as they are, of course big kitties are bullies. Those poor capybaras. As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Black Rhino Rhinos generally have a very accurate reputation as short-tempered hotheads, but they also have a weapon built into their head, which makes them ten times more dangerous than, say, an angry giraffe. Good luck escaping an angry rhino. They are mean. The key difference between a black and white rhino is often cited to be the horn. The black has a rounded base, while the white has a straight base. However, the real difference is in temperament. The black rhino Rhino is notoriously more temperamental and excitable than its white counterpart, particularly if the black rhino happens to pick up the scent of a nearby human. They're likely to get very aggressive and dangerous. If the rhino manages to find you, well, you better hope you've had your funeral arrangements prepared. It's highly unlikely that they're going to let you go without a fight. So if you're still alive and have never gotten into a fight with a black rhino, consider yourself self-winning at life. And please, Lord, do everything you can to avoid ever getting close to one, because seriously, they are mean. Number 13. Cape Buffalo Look, nobody in the right mind would try and provoke a Cape Buffalo. But not everybody is in the right mind, of course, and those who decide to take on the Cape Buffalo will soon learn what the rest of us already knew, that these animals are psycho. While most animals generally have some kind of emotional tell that clue you in as to how they may be feeling, the Cape Buffalo has no such tell. In fact, it's impossible to even figure out when they're about to charge. And if you do happen to tick one of them off and somehow live to tell the tale, it's not over. These animals are notorious for holding grudges. Back in the days of buffalo hunting, these guys were responsible for more hunter deaths than any other animal. Somehow they were able to remember the exact hunter that targeted them before and attack. Cape buffalo are among some of the meanest and most fearsome animals out there. They're basically the animal equivalent of Liam Neeson 
mission in Taken. They will find you and they will kill you. And you better believe they will honor their word. Well, if they could speak. Number 12. Tasmanian Devil Yes, despite what Looney Tunes may have claimed, the Tasmanian Devil is far from cuddly. Actually, they can be pretty mean if provoked or threatened. And no, they don't turn into a little hurricane, so I wouldn't advise doing it even as an experiment. Generally, Tasmanian Devils would rather run away than get into an unnecessary fight. However, the definition of unnecessary may be somewhat flexible, depending on the situation. After all, if they perceive an intruding human to be a very valid and dangerous threat, they will have no qualms with biting. And yes, they have a surprisingly powerful bite, so I guess the Looney Tunes didn't lie about everything, just most things. I, I mean, how many talking rabbits have you ever seen? I've seen one, but the circumstances surrounding it might explain that one. And that's all I have to say about that. The Tasmanian Devil largely just acts out of self-defense, but that could easily be misconstrued as being flat out mean. In fact, many biting stories seem to suggest that the human didn't really do anything to deserve it. Which suggests either the Tasmanian devil is mean, or humans are liars. Uh, which could it be? Uh, yeah. Number 11. Wolverine. Yes, it may surprise you to see Hugh Jackman on the list. Well, let me tell you. Uh oh. It's the animal? Okay, that makes more sense. Well, the Marvel character took a lot more inspiration from the Wolverine than just a name. Admittedly, the animal isn't a drunk that I know of. Wolverines may be small, but it's hard to find a more ferocious and confident killing machine in the world. These little guys are afraid of absolutely nothing, which of course means that they are capable of extreme meanness. They will attack any living things that they happen to come across, often for no real reason. But. Are they genuinely mean, or is this whole thing just for show? Well, probably a bit of both, but they are just mean. Look at any videos of wolverines, and you'll see that they're not above being a jerk. Stealing other animals' kills, food, even attacking families for the sake of it. They're just mean. As you can see, the ill-tempered wolverine has quite a lot in common with its comic counterpart. They both have short fuses, relative mean streaks, and a brutal killing style. The only real difference is that Hugh Jackman is... nice. What, you thought I was going to badmouth Hugh Jackman? Come on, man. Number 10. Black Mamba it's one of the deadliest snakes in the world. The fastest land snake on Earth and the longest species of venomous snake found in Africa. It can only be the black mamba because we literally just said it was. I mean, what more do you need? The black mamba is famously known as one of the most aggressive, toxic snakes on the planet. While most snakes are known to lash out when they feel threatened or provoked, the black mamba does so relentlessly, striking repeatedly, and injecting a considerable amount of venom with every single strike. Within a few minutes, your body could be filled with so much venom that even a massive amount of anti-venom may prove to be useless. This is why the black mamba is responsible for so many deaths in Africa, a land where anti-venom is well, hard to find. The black mamba is rightly known as one of the meanest, most violent snakes on the planet. While there are no statistics to cite, it's highly likely that more people die as a result of this snake than any other, purely on account of their intense venom. Beware of the snake. Number 9. Saltwater Crocodile would you believe it? The saltwater crocodile is one of the meanest animals on Earth. Is that a surprise? Not unless you only get your news from cartoons or music videos. If you live in the real world or have been to Australia, you'll surely be more than familiar with the brutality of the saltwater croc. The saltwater is the largest crocodile species on the planet, capable of growing up to 22 feet in length and 992 pounds. And given that they're so big, it's perhaps no major surprise that they're capable of throwing that weight around. Apparently, the saltwater crocodile is not just one of the most aggressive crocodiles, but also one of Earth's most aggressive species, generally. If a human happens to get a little too close to a body of water, it's highly likely that the saltwater croc will grab them and pull them in, 
drowning them in what must be one of the most unpleasant deaths imaginable. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that the saltwater croc is one of the meanest animals anywhere on Earth. This is an animal that can seemingly attack from anywhere and pull you to a watery grave in a matter of seconds. How fun! Number 8. Brown Bear you could really choose any bear species for this list, and it would probably work. Outside of Winnie the Pooh, there are no friendly bears. Let's just get that lie out of the way right now. But in the case of the brown bear, we're looking at an especially mean species. Generally speaking, brown bears tend to avoid humans and very rarely attack. However, they're notoriously unpredictable animals and can attack if they're surprised or feel threatened, which of course can be interpreted however you want. Mostly though, bears tend to attack if they believe their cubs are in danger. If you're a human that gets just a little bit too close to a bear cub, well, you better start running because that mama bear will rip you limb from limb. The only way to avoid getting attacked by a bear is to basically have absolutely no smell on your body whatsoever. And a good luck with that one. Brown bears tend to attack based on a defensive maneuver, but it's still not something you ever want to encounter. An angry bear is a mean bear, and no amount of honey will calm them. Believe me, there are documentaries about it. Number 7. Wild Boar they don't call it wild for nothing. The wild boar is naturally one of the most unpredictable hogs in nature. This betusked wild pig is aggressive, fast, and loud. They're so loud. All of these traits naturally unite to create one of the meanest animals in the world. Wild boars tend to measure up to six and a half feet in length and can weigh up to 700 pounds. but they're mostly known for their tusks, which can prove to be incredibly useful weapons when these animals get into fights during mating season. However, what's perhaps most alarming for us humans is the personality of the wild boar. These animals are secretive, wily animals that can become vicious and mean if they're cornered. And like many animals, they can hold a grudge. So while they may not get you right away, you're never truly safe from the wild boar. If you're ever confused about which animals may or may not be mean, here's a good rule of thumb. If they have a horn or a tusk, they may well decide to use it when you least expect it. Okay, it doesn't help identify the mean animals, but it may help you keep some of your internal organs unpunctured. Number 6. Gorillas we know for a fact that gorillas are territorial above all else. They don't tend to take kindly to intruders just wandering into their area and potentially taking what is rightfully theirs. So to the unsuspecting human who is attacked by a seemingly unprovoked gorilla, that's mean. The majority of gorilla violence is directed towards other gorillas, but there are notable exceptions. In particular, female gorillas have been known to show unusually aggressive of behavior towards humans, presumably because they just had never seen a human before. But this kind of behavior can often come off as just unnecessary aggression to anybody that isn't expecting it. On the other hand, male gorillas have been known to attack other males almost to death, which really makes these human attacks seem tame by comparison. They're mean to us, but they don't seem to want to kill us. Uh, not, not yet, anyway. Generally speaking, gorillas don't attack humans unless they've been provoked. That said, there have been many instances of gorillas showing mean behavior toward humans purely based on their own lack of understanding. So I guess, ultimately, I just you turned on my own point. Gorillas are mean. Donkey Kong is the ex- No, he throws barrels, and that's pretty mean. Number 5. Hornets Once again, we come to an animal that will make most of you think, seriously? Yes, everybody knows that hornets and wasps, by extension, are mean and evil and nobody likes them, but just in case you weren't aware of that, this is for you. Because hornets are mean. 
Hornets have one goal in life, to protect their nest at any cost. So already you can understand how and why they would be so aggressive. But believe it or not, they can become even more violent and bold in their efforts, depending on the season. Apparently, as food begins to grow scarce by the end of summer, the hornets grow more urgent than ever. That naturally means they become irritating to humans, and quite often, straight up, mean. We've all heard the stories of a swarm of hornets disrupting picnics or parties and attacking when they feel provoked. Not the kind of gift anybody wants for their birthday. There's a reason hornets are such a hated animal. These little insects have ruined more birthdays and picnics than a simple storm. And their aggressive tactics are very unpopular with… Well, everyone, I guess there's also a reason that these things don't get invited to the party. Number 4. Bull Shark Do you think you could tell the difference between a bull shark and any other kind of shark? If the answer is yes, you're probably a liar, but I'll let that slide just this once. If you said no, I appreciate your honesty and your shark knowledge. In fact, the bull shark isn't a shark at all, but a bull. No, no, it's actually a shark, but that would have been hilarious. The bull shark can be distinguished from other sharks purely based on their body's width to length ratio, which is significantly higher than others, giving them a more stout appearance. But otherwise, they're just as aggressive and mean as all those other sharks. Typically, the bull shark prefers shallower coastal waters, which means they often come into contact contact with humans, and, well, we all know how human-slash-shark encounters tend to end up. In fact, of all the sharks on Earth, bull sharks are considered to be the most dangerous toward humans due to their unpredictable and aggressive behavior. An encounter with a bull shark may not end your life, but it won't be a fun little meeting. These things are predators first and foremost. Trying to befriend one is like trying to be friends with the Terminator. He's a killer robot. Why are you befriending a killer robot? Read a book! Number 3. Lion The king of the jungle is one of the meanest animals in the world. Who'd have thought it? Well, actually, it's common knowledge that lions will do absolutely anything to protect their pride, even if that means intimidating or attacking other animals. Yeah, lions are bullies. Mufasa, kind of a jerk. Of course, like most animals, lions are not just mean. They have a complex personality that sees them shifting between affectionate and playful behavior and the jerkish behavior I mentioned just a second ago. When they're looking after their pride, the animals can be affectionate, loving, playful, but the second that a potential meal comes into the scene, all of that goes out the window. The females turn into defensive, nasty, aggressive animals who will do just about anything to eat. Meanwhile, the males are in charge of defending their territory, taking on just about any animal that may seem like a threat. Lions are king of the jungle, but they're also one of the most determined determined protectors of their family you could ever find. If they even suspect that their family is in danger, you better start running. But you know, it's still probably no good. Mufasa, he's kind of a jerk. Number 2. Asian Black Bear we have to raise a very valid ethical question up front. If humans trap or kill animals for ulterior motives, are the animals the jerks for getting aggressive in advance? Because that's the kind of situation with the Asian black bear, a medium-sized bear often hunted by humans who have begun to, shall we say, fight back. Despite their herbivorous diet, the Asian black bear is becoming more and more well-known for their aggression against humans. This likely is a built-in defense mechanism because humans have long trapped or killed them for traditional medicine. As a result, the Asian black bear has just adopted a permanently mean persona that can be defined as, kill first, ask questions later. Is that mean or is it a valid and necessary response to an existential threat? You tell me in the comments below and maybe we'll check them out. 
the Asian black bear is either a jerk or wholly justified in its approach to the problem. But regardless, it's evident that this bear can be incredibly mean and aggressive when it really wants to be. Sounds like, well, all humans. Number 1. Honey Badger We've covered the honey badger several times and every time, it becomes more and more apparent that this animal is easily the meanest thing you'll ever see. The honey badger has no fear. They're known to attack everything from other badgers to lions and even rhinos. While the honey badger generally prefers to just escape from uncomfortable or otherwise unpleasant situations, they're well known for their attacks on significantly larger predators. But they get their name from a whole other level of meanness. rating honey-laden beehives just for the hell of it. If ever there was a perfect example of jerky animal behavior, it has to be that one, right? It's like the Italian job, but without the cool heisty stuff and with more unpredictably aggressive fighting. And less Michael Caine, which is always a disappointment no matter the situation, the honey badger is actually immune to stings, venom, and bites, making it more confident in its aggression. After all, if you can't suffer any pain, what's to stop you from just going wild and attacking anything that happens to have the misfortune of crossing your path? That's like fate or something. Which of these animals do you think is the meanest? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!